Tony here once again. If you guys can tell, I got a lot of boxes and stuff. So, before I start that, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tony with another Tony Win TV. And today's another unboxing of a couple things that I bought and I just want to show you what it is. And before I start this unboxing, if you're new to my channel, hit that thumbs up right away and subscribe to my channel because a lot of cool stuff is coming. So, other than that, let's get to it. Let's unbox these things. God's shoes that I got. Um, let's review the first one, really. Uh, so the first one is actually the slip-on one. Now these shoes I got was from overseas. Now this shoe specifically hasn't even reached the U.S. yet, as far as I know. Um, I know that the Fear God series recently just dropped on Paxons, limited at certain stores. So if you're lucky enough to get one, good shit. But again, like I said, this pair is specifically did not hit the U.S. yet, as far as I know. If you do know. Let me know in the comment section. Um, but other than that, this is actually a slip-on. Now, the only two colorways that I know that drop in stores or all across the Paxson stores were basically the, uh, these two joints right there. Um, but other than that, let's get to review of the slip-on. Slip-on is very, very nice. Basically, you have the Fear God metal as a strap right here. The alcohol strap, which is really, really, really cool. It's like a new buck, I believe. What is this, new buck? Shit, what the fuck is this? Suede. So it's a nice suede right here. It's pretty dope though. I like this shoe. Out of all the Fear of God shoes, which one, which one did you guys think was your favorite? Well, other than that guys, these were from London. So these were ordered from London, not the US. So again, yeah, that's it. So the next one that we have are the Era 95 DX Fear of Gods. Now basically these are a nine and a half. Now these, oh my God. These are so fire. Oh my god. These were by far my favorite ones out of the Fear of God collection that just came out. Uh, basically, it was a total of four shoes. This one, the slip-ons that I had, and the other two. Um, basically, again, this one didn't even hit the US yet as well, as far as I know. I know on the Paxson website, they had the other shoes in stock that said exclusively in-store, and this one I think this one was the one that was available on the Paxson website because this one just kept saying, coming soon. So, uh, if you guys were lucky enough to get them at Paxson, comment below how'd that go. Um, but other than that guys, it's a really, really great concept, just like the first one, white colorway, uh, basically comes with two shoelaces, which is uh, the white ones and some tan ones pretty much, which is really cool. Uh, basically, the Fear of God is all over the shoelace, which is really cool. Just like the first colorway, well, basically, uh, the first colorway had it everywhere, and this one's just literally in the front right there. This one is really, really, really cool. I really, really like this. These are going to be some perfect-ass shoes to beat in. Now, it's really, really crazy how the Fear of God shoes are up in price, because I know the first ones that came out are ranging from... Uh, five to six hundred depending on size compared to a hundred dollar retail shoe. Come on now So uh, that was the second one which is Fear God shoe, which is cool So get to the next unboxing that I had was basically yes, you've seen it This is the cause unique low plush the big one Really really cool. I really really love this black on black concept guys. This This is lit guys uh, basically just says the cause of peanuts on the collar right there, which is cool. Um, yeah, dude, this is really, really cool. I love that Unique Low collabs with Cause. They made a lot of collections, um, a lot of capsules, I should say. This is one of them, of course, but this is the second one, though. The first one that the Unique Low Cause peanuts dropped were... No, I got the, the white one as well. Um, the white one's really, really cool. It kind of sucked because when they first came out, the big plush sold out everywhere. No, actually, I take that back. 
when this first collection came out, there were lines everywhere, everything sold out right away, and I just believe that finally they understood what people wanted and made a lot because these are still available online, all right? So again, um, when I was able to get this, actually, I was lucky enough to get this plush right here. This plush was on a restock on the Uniqlo website. Um, basically, the big ones, the big plushes, they would restock, but those would sell out like that. Um, but luckily, I was able to get a little guy. So now I have a collection of a little guy and a small guy. So, uh, dope. Now to get the last thing, of course you didn't see it in the box in the beginning because this box is so fucking huge, right? So, of course, you probably know what it is because if you've seen it, you've seen it. But this huge guy right here, yes, you know why it is. So basically this, here, let me let this down right here, is the Everlast Supreme Folded exercise mat. Oh shit. This fucker weighs a ton. <laughs> Wait, let me stand up for this, guys. Dude, this is lit. Um, I know when this collection dropped, the main things that sold out that day were the robe. I know that sold out the quickest. They had this, and I believe the, the little Supreme Monks came out that day. Uh, but... Other than that, luckily when I originally tried to get this, unfortunately I took that L, so I couldn't get this right away. But thankfully I have friends that look out, so again, shouts out to my boy E-Money for the Supreme Mat, for the retail game, because you know your boy don't pay resale for not a goddamn thing. Team retail, everything that I own, and everything that I show you, I don't pay resale for nothing. But yeah guys, uh, again, stuff that I unboxed today, Supreme Mat. Black plush. We have the Era 95 DX Fear of Gods. And then of course we have the Slip On 47 DX Fear of God as well that didn't even release in the US yet. Out of everything that I got, which one was your favorite cop? If you were able to cop some, let me know which one you copped and was it hard? Um, because I know that when this shoe came out right here, um, basically, of course, it was the red ones that came out um, in stores. Basically, in my location, man, from what my friends have been telling me, it was crazy. Motherfuckers was plotting since like 1 a.m. in the morning or since, you know, the mall closed. You know, of course, they had a procedure where you couldn't camp on the ground or whatever. So, basically, security would just kick everyone out. So, it was basically uh, survival of the fittest. Once those doors open, if you run quick enough to the front of the line, then you got your pair. But luckily, these came overseas, these came London, United Kingdom. I didn't get none of these in the US. So, shouts out to the plugs. Y'all know what it is. Team Retail Gang. So once again guys, I really appreciate you guys for watching this unboxing video. If you guys want to see more unboxing videos, just let me know because I am going to buy a bunch of shit coming up. Hopefully I get the bunch of shit that comes up. Um, other than that guys, hit that thumbs up right away. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And uh, I don't know, just expect some more cool shit from clothes or, you know, supreme drops and causes and shit. But uh, alright guys, I'm going to catch y'all next time, right? Because I got to go. Boom.